And welcome to your Gone Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 4th of July 2023. Happy Independence Day, everybody. I hope you're good and your day has started well. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, with a little look around what's happening in the Asian session today. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities managing to eke out small gains. US markets are obviously closed for Independence Day today. But later on in the week, we've got the jobs data, including the non-farm payrolls on Friday. And US earnings season starts next week, just bear that in mind. US futures are neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets generally mixed in early trading. ASX was up almost 0.3%, but has dropped down to be just above neutral. European futures are pointing to a mildly higher open, and the VIX trades at near three-year lows. US dollar index is near neutral overnight. Little change in Asia this morning. Gold edged back to 1920. 1936 is a level to keep an eye on, looks important technically. Copper also moved higher again after being battered uh, really last week up until Friday. 380 now looks like an important technical level and worth keeping an eye out for. Oil is slightly softer but still trading mid-range today. And Bitcoin is giving 31,000 resistance a crack this morning in Asia. Last we looked, it was around about $300 over that level, uh, worth having a look at at some stage. Of course, one of the reasons why the ASX may be a little muted is we do have the RBA rate decision today. Although consensus seems to be another rate rise, there are a significant number of people who think they may pause today in light of the slightly softer than expected inflation data recently. US markets closed, as I've already said. German trade balance and Canadian PMI, therefore, the only data of note today but things do ramp up later in the week just a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning we're going to start by having a look at pls which is having a major move to the upside uh, you can see there we tackled this 510 yesterday and a big push up we're up in excess of five percent at this stage a really positive move trading towards the highs of the session and if we just put this on a line chart i'm a really key level here at 5.43. So one to keep an eye on for sure. If we breach that 5.43 level, the upside on this is significant. And what we've seen really since the early part of March, along with lithium generally, is a significant move up in this sector. FX markets have been a little directionless this morning, but we do know on the Euro USD here there could be an interesting level here at around about this 109.20 we could have a 20 pip move up in the first instance to retest the highs from a couple of sessions ago but should we break that maybe even a move up towards this 109.60 with little data out today it could be the german trade balance that moves this pair worthwhile being patient trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now